You're seven years old, mum's in hospital, dad says she's done something stupid. She finds it hard to be happy. You make a list of everything brilliant in the world from kung fu to ice cream. Now this is a premise of the incredible show Every Brilliant Thing, starring James Rowland and its audience each night. Welcome to the cafe, James Rowland. Yes, welcome. Oh, yeah, thanks for having me. Welcome to New Zealand, yeah. by the way. Cheers. Well, thanks, thanks, you. Um, yeah. James has been telling us about his incredible trip he's got planned after this. is going to be amazing, isn't it? Going to mm. see all the tourist sites. Um, your show, though, it sounds a little bit dark, but it's also very positive as well. Like life, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Could you explain a bit to us. Well, so essentially, it is a, it's a show about depression, um, but the actual star of the show not is not me um it's a list that my character writes from when he's very young um all the way through his life um cataloguing every brilliant thing that you can so from things when you're young like uh, ice cream or water fights all the way through to the feeling of calm where you realize that although you may be in an, a regrettable situation there's nothing you can do about it mm. way further on down the list so uh, as the list grows up it's it's me growing up as well. Ice cream and water fights, so they've got at any age. Just saying. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but they're appreciated first, younger. Whereas uh, whereas being in a regrettable situation and feeling okay about it, that's a bit older. Yeah, yeah we complicate things as we get older, exactly. don't we? Exactly. I heard you get your audience involved as well. So how does that work? Well, um, certainly, sort of having been a performer for a long time and used to doing audience participation stuff, it always terrifies people this idea that they might be involved. Um, in this show. It, the show, for a start, doesn't work without it, but it's very gentle, and there's never any sort of element of laughing at anybody. Um, it's I give the list entries out to people at the start mm. of the show, so when I say number one, it won't be me saying ice cream, somebody from the audience. So the audience almost take on the character of the list themselves. Brilliant. The house lights are always up on them, so they can see each other, and it's it's it becomes a community every night of people, um, and it's just it it's it's a very different theatrical experience. And if anybody is coming, don't be worried. Because right. <laughs> you're nice to everybody. Yeah, there's no bullying. There's no there's no laughing at people yeah. for getting anything wrong. There there isn't anything so, so, such thing as wrong. Is there. this based on truth? A true story? Um, it's, so it's based on the the sort of the work so the idea for the list actually started about 10 years ago from the writer Duncan Macmillan um, and through that it was developed uh, with uh, the chap who performed it before one of my good friends uh, Johnny Donohoe and the director George Perrin um, and they worked on the story together so it contains um, um, I hesitate to be precise about it because it is a very emotional story elements of their life stories um, but um, it is also a play um, has it made you more positive? Um, I think well, it certainly makes me engage with the, the, the wonderful things of life. And I think it does. I think the one unifying factor of it is almost every audience member, when they leave the show, is going away thinking about those things. Nice. What would be on their list? What would be on their list? So what is, what is on the list that the audience comes up with? Oh, so, oh, I mean, so that, uh, well, we have some fantastic artefacts. I think there was a great one that I saw the other day, which was. Um, uh, trying to be sarcastic, but getting it wrong so everyone thinks you're being really serious. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That is a brilliant thing. Yeah. What would be on your list of brrilliant things? Brilliant things? Yeah. Ooh, a laughter. I love laughter. Yeah. But, you know, having people make me laugh. I also love peace and quiet, in all honesty. Yeah. Is it yeah. different from country to country? Um, I certainly think, well, this is going to be my first time in New Zealand, so I'm really interested to see how audiences mm. respond to mm. it. Um, certainly in Australia, there was an element of people a certain literal mindedness which was very different from the sort of slightly more sort of theatrically sort of worn audiences of the UK where people are <laughs> way, way more used to seeing well, things. We're fresh that's what you're saying isn't it? Well certainly in Australia I don't know about here um, I, yeah, well, I'm yet to, I've got my first show first show tonight so we'll see. Oh well that'll be fascinating because we the list of happy places in the world just came out um, yeah. Norway is number one I think Denmark is number two Kiwis, number eight. Yeah. UK? Not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. And how Norway and Denmark can be number one and two because it's great in summer, but it is miserable in winter and it's so cold. <laughs> um, I think some of my brilliant things would be laughter as well. Um, yeah. Smell of the Ocean would be another one. Oh, well. that's, yeah, that's smell a lovely of the ocean. one. That is a lovely one. Your show sounds fantastic. It does in fact, sound it fascinating. sounds brilliant. Yeah. Thank you so much. And for uplifting. Coming in. I like that. Yeah. yeah, thanks so much for Thank coming. Thank you in. for having me. Every Brilliant Thing is part of the Auckland Arts Festival and is at Q Theatre until Sunday, the 26th of March. You can check out Ticketmaster for all of the booking details. Thank you very much, James.